happy to have him back in Paris, Mr. Jeremy Hardy. <laughs> Shukran. <laughs> Toda, Jochen Bauer. Um, well, white shirt thing's really scary. <laughs> it's like false teeth in a nightclub. It <laughs> makes you look like an installation. All shirt and no head. But um, I'm not commenting on your oral pleasure technique there, I'm just saying that. <laughs> Are you from the north? <laughs> oh, how very marvellous. You must be very poor. <laughs> Since the old fish mine is closed. <laughs> You're from Yorkshire. That's right. You're fucking busted. <laughs> For those people who don't know Yorkshire. You don't know. Uh, <laughs> one's having sex and the other one's illegitimate. Um, for those people who don't know, Yorkshire people are best described as bluff. The only people in the world who are described as bluff. Everybody else is rude, insensitive, curmudgeonly mean bastards. In Yorkshire, you're bluff. I speak my mind, doesn't take me very long. I did, a, I did a gig in Skipton recently, in the mart, in the cattle market, but because, of, because there's hardly any animals left in Yorkshire, because they, they did this massive uh, foot and mouth scam, so they could they could kill all the, or kill all the animals and be able to live in Spain and that. And um, there's nothing to sell in the meat market, so they've started to put turns on, and and they do they hose they hose down the thing and they put um, you know because there's been Yorkshire people in there. No. <laughs> they put um, they put all the rows of seats in, and then and then uh, and then turns go on. And I got there, and uh, it was weird. It's all pictures of Prince Charles and Princess Anne shaking hands with Catherine and things. It's really weird. <laughs> and they said to me, what would you like in your sandwiches? Are you a vegetarian? And I thought, if I were a vegetarian, this would be a somewhat traumatic gig for me, don't you think? <laughs> Should really offer me an alternative venue, like the Quorn Exchange. <laughs> <laughs> Are you the decorating people? <coughs> no. Are there decorators in? Uh, I don't mean as, as a lady's having a special time. Uh, Carol mentioned there being tradespeople. All, I've, one thing I've learned, because I'm having a lot of work done, not on me, you know, to look more like, um, to look more like Michael Jackson. I, um, kids and stuff. I, uh, I'm mumbling there, because that's libelous. Um, it can't be proven if it can't be heard, that's what I say. But, um, no, but always keep a jar of instant coffee for tradespeople because they don't appreciate cafeteria coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like some coffee? Just wait while I grind the beans. They look at you in the blankest way you can possibly <laughs> But plumbers are fucking bastards. What's that then? What did you say? No, you see, if you talk, I can hear you. That's what happens no, with... I just said in France it's the opposite. It's the opposite. I had a workman in, and I offered him a coffee, and he said he would only have it if it was real coffee. Oh, really? Because the French are just more civilised. <laughs> As they have a four-hour lunch with a nice bottle of wine. <laughs> you can't just say, would you like some cheese and piccalilli sandwiches? <laughs> you have to provide a huge buffet. <laughs> they still fuck up. All plumbers fuck up plumbing. <laughs> plumbers are... Ah, oh, fucking plumbers. You say, uh, plumbers will say to you, well, Jeremy, by all means, get British gas in, but they'll charge you twice as much. Yes, that's because they use metal. <laughs> <laughs> You'll find a bamboo that's quite porous. 